Hi friends! Welcome back to my channel. Whether you are starting your first YouTube video or you want to look confident in your first date or you are going for your next job interview, I am here to help you to show up with confidence. The first step in showing up with confidence is to dress the part. You wouldn't feel confident if you are dressed in your pajamas for your first date or maybe your hair is really messy and like you know you have glasses on your face it's really murky and dirty you want to make sure that you are as dressed up as possible for whatever occasion you have for example myself when I show up for my YouTube video I find that putting my makeup on wearing nice accessories it helps me to show up with more confidence when I'm talking to you now that we have dressed apart, I want to help you to adjust your body posture so that you look more confident. One thing is that confidence people, they always show up with very wide and open body language to show people that they are confident in themselves. There was this TED talk by Amy Cuddy. She shared that people who pose with high power poses for at least two minutes before their job interview, they score better in likability and their confidence in the interview. Now, not all of us have the chance to be like that or like that for our next interview. So I'm going to teach you something that helps you to show up with more confidence, with more openness in your body. Let me just get into my yoga guru mode to teach you about your posture. Namaste everybody. Today I am your guru Wendy here to teach you with part of the mountain pose, just the upper body because we're not standing up here. But I want to teach you to stand with confidence. So one thing that you do when you are working on your mountain pose is you want to always make sure to roll your shoulder back and down away from your ears so that it is open up. So this way your chest is open, your heart is open and it shows people that you are open to meet people and you are confident in your body. Especially with our generation, we are always kind of like hunching back to type on our phone or to type on our computer. We want to make sure that you are always mindful of your posture and you are always opening up, rolling it back, you know, to show up with confidence. Namaste everybody! Alright, the next thing that we are going to learn is to speak with confident language. Now, a confident person, they are always really firm about who they are and what they are able to do. They know that they are good enough. So what we are going to do is we are going to ditch the self-doubting words out of our vocabulary. We are going to stop saying things like, I try, I think, or maybe. These words are out of our vocab and instead we are going to use firm positive words like I can, sure, alright, I'll do that. We are going to be firm, we are going to be confident in the languages that we use on our daily basis. Now that I've helped you to show up physically and verbally with confidence, I want to help you to work with your mindset because at the end of the day, the confidence that you have, they come from inside out. If you show yourself to be confident but deep inside you're not confident with who you are, we can't go far from there. One thing that you have to do to show up with confidence is to ditch your negative self-talk. Now I've made a video, a full video about how to fight your negative self-talk here if you are interested to check it out but here is a very summarized version of it. There are three ways to fight your negative self-talk. So one is you want to flip everything, all the things that it's saying negatively on your brain to positive. So if your brain is telling you that you are ugly, you are going to consciously tell yourself that you are beautiful. Okay? And the second way of telling this is to imagine that there is a fairy godmother in your brain. So for example, if you failed in something in your exam, your fairy godmother in the head is gonna tell you, Beep 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 doo. It's okay. All the successful people, they fail, so you are going to do well. Alright, so this is the second way of like fighting the negative self-talk. And the third way is actually the easiest it is just treat yourself as your good friend. Whenever your friend is going through like a tough time, you wouldn't tell them really negative things um, to pull them down. You are going to tell them encouraging steps and maybe suggest some action steps. So that's what you should do to yourself whenever you have some negative self-talk happening in your brain. 
So when you are able to fight through all this negative self-talk and all the self-doubts in your brain, you are definitely going to be more confident because you are ignoring all this negative self-talk. Another thing that causes people to be less confident is the lack of preparation. For example, when you were young, or maybe right now you're still young, when you are not prepared for your exam, you definitely feel scared and nervous before your exam. It's the same thing for whatever you are doing in life. If you are going for a date, is there anything that you can prepare hate? Maybe you can think of some topic to, think, uh, to talk about. Maybe you can dress up as nice as you can, like I said, dressing up. And if you are preparing for a public speaking, you can definitely prepare your script ahead and to try to familiarize yourself with your script as much as possible. And that's the same thing for YouTube. I am talking to you right now, but I also do have my script here that I prepared well ahead so that I know what to expect next when I am presenting to the video. There is always a way to prepare ahead if you want to do it. Lastly, a confident person is someone who is true to themselves. If you know who you are, if you know what your values are, you care about that and not what other people are thinking and not what other people are doing, you focus on this person, you will show up with more confidence. So I want you to focus on yourself, visualize that ideal confident version of yourself Close your eyes and think about that confident version of you and I want you to be that person. Focus on yourself, stay true to yourself, that's how you show up as truly confident. Confidence is something that is extremely attractive. Whether it's in a personal relationship or in a job situation, people who are confident are more likely to be successful. I hope that you learned a thing or two to show up with more confidence and be sure to subscribe and turn on your notification bell if you enjoyed this video and watch these two videos for more girl boss or motivational video. I'll see you in my next one next week. Bye!